Welcome back to the Spirited Shop. Today we are going to start a CNC basic series. In this episode I'm going to show a couple of ways of creating SVG files which is what a lot of CAM studios like to use. It, it makes it easy. And to be doing that we will use Inkscape. It's free. I'll have a link below. So let's get started. This is Inkscape. And so, what I like to use generally, especially for designs, is a black and white image of whatever I want to either carve out or cut out from the workpiece. And so, I've downloaded a couple of examples and we'll go through them. Um, one of them here is just a simple tree. So, I've imported a tree. It's a regular image file. And what I'll do is click on it and come up to Path, Trace Bitmap, and hit Update. And you'll see it, it image appear over here on the right side. That, know, that lets you know it worked. We hit OK and close it. So what you're going to do is grab one of the images, because you'll have two of them, and click on edit pass to see if this is the actual object that was traced out. And if it has a lot of dots or squares on it, you know you selected the right one. Go ahead and select the other one and delete it. That's the image file. And you can move this one back and save it out as a uh, SVG. Inkscape SVG is fine. And that's the first example. All right, let's try this again. We we'll use another picture, one more try, just to show you how easy it is. Uh, I also downloaded this famous mushroom. So again, I'm going to select the mushroom, come to Path, Trace this Bitmap, tell it to update, and hit OK. We'll move it out of the way. Once again, checking this is the correct one, yep. And come back over to the original picture. And delete it. And now we can save this out as an SVG file. All right, let's go over one more example of creating SVG from text. First, we're going to create a new document, which we have. And I will come down to the text tool, draw where I want the text to be, and say something simple. Uh, this is a test. Well, increase the size, center it. However, whatever you want to do to it, however you want to make it look. Um, let's go up maybe 50. Oof. All right. So, in order to create SVG from text, the first thing you must do after creating your text is text, come over path, and convert an object to path. And then you can save it as a SVG. So if you don't do that, it won't export the text. I'll just call this text SVG. And that's how you create SVG files from black and white images and from text using Inkscape. In the next part of the series of the CNC basics, I'm going to load those SVG files and we'll start creating tool paths in, in the CAM software. I use Estocam, but most tool path softwares are friendly to SVG files. So. Until the next time, please like, share, and subscribe.
See you later. God bless.